like strong mid game draft for yeah. for this team. It feels like overall, guys. Who do you, who do you favor as we're we're getting ready to hand it off to the commentators? I, I like Malaysia's. Blinked in the blink strike yet? Not that he probably wanted to blink in there anyways, but. For Malaysia, it's just going to be about sitting back, get the Trinkle region, kicking in for a high, getting back full HP, and every little bit of mana getting thrown out. There's mana that's not being returned. Kenji Gimba in the mid lane, goes in for the kill. He ignores the courier once as for will get us for there first blood to your Viper mid. Very sneaky. Nicely done with that wraparound. Smart play to go for the first blood over the courier. And I think he kind of knew that S4 was not backing off. His crew was going to be coming back, and he was ready to flank him. Top lane, meanwhile, higher in a 1v3 scenario. Has the help of the Fiends with the Fire Spirits. The HP regen, though, is not going to be enough to kick in. Kuro gets low, but... Yeah, one of the drawbacks of the support Phoenix there. Not really so much he, uh, Johnny could do to disengage. KYXY does rotate up. Split Earth off the mark, but Puppy taking a lot of damage. That's a level 3 Lightning Storm. Will they be able to find the kill on Puppy, though? It's looking unlikely. Icarus dive down for another 15 seconds, but the lightning's there, and Puppy dies. Now, Arteezy could be in a rocky situation here. He's got the leaner to back him up, throws the dagger, blink forward onto the lash. KYXY goes down, makes it a one for one. Are we done here? It looks like Arteezy will back off as Ohio has come back to the lane. Now that you've already won the early to mid game. Well, yeah. I mean, they haven't won the mid game yet, but they're in a position to do so. Yeah, I, I like this style of building the Viper, so you're very tanky early on. We'll hold that thought as S4 gets jumped on, trying to clear out his Ancients. He'll use his mech, but I don't think it'll be enough. Certainly not. Ohio gets credit for that one. Now Viper Strike comes out onto Kuro. Zai throws down Power Cogs, but I don't know if they're going to help too much. Supernova secures the kill on Lina. Clockwork falls as well. It's a three for nil, and Team Malaysia erupting with some momentum here, Parker. They'll look to getting items to allow them to fight now because Secret PA is not going to offer Radiant's anything in a fight. Earthshaker, a similar story beyond the Fissure is not really doing too much and the SF Radiant's is also really struggling. Fallen. Yep, Secret starting to split up the lanes a little bit here. As they do rotate down, looks like they will Radiant's reveal this Roche. Rocket Flare comes out, Ohio initiates though. Laguna Blade cuts down the line straight away. Egg in a very aggressive position. The Supernova will not go off, but still it forces Secret Radiant's to focus it. And now the damage comes out. KYXY in the front line, still alive. Ohio with a beautiful Berserker's Call. Dies to the death Requiem, but a pretty good fight for Team Malaysia. Yeah. A lot of heroes in the grave. Back into Roshan there. They started positioning three, four heroes in the bottom lane by the T2 tower, but it wasn't Roche, it was mid lane. They're looking for the kill first. And another pitiful death requiem there from S4 with only 11 souls in tow. Secret scout this one out. They did have the rocket flare in the pit, but yep, they're positioned pretty well. Hook shot in. Aegis does get picked up by the clockwork. Dyer also gets the last hit on Roche. Oh, but what a cold stun coming out from KYX1 to the high ground. They're going to kill everyone here. Doesn't matter if you take Roche and an Aegis. You're about to get team wiped. Yeah. Zai going to be the last to fall. Loses the Aegis as well. Uh, TZ, nowhere to be seen. It wasn't a fight he wanted to take any part in, and with good reason. That they want to stick around, go for the riskier barracks as it will regen. They get it down to about half health. Okay, wait, so I can just edict BKB this down if he really wants to. Next edict that's up, but here we go. Berserker's call initiation onto Curl from Ohio. BKB's popped a plenty as Malaysia goes in. There's your egg off to the side. S4 will channel an ulti. Lena, the first one to go down, and now they focus S4. Ketchik Imba initiated on by Zai, but he just gets melted. Seems like Secret just don't have the resources for it. Lena will buy back. Arteezy low. Tries to blink strike back, but he goes down. Now Puppy slowed up in some trouble. Yules will lock the Lesh in place. Okay. Somewhat limited because of this, but at the same time, Secret do have some pretty good wards up all over the map. And it looks like Phoenix will be going for a Shiva's guard, but we'll hold that thought as mid lane, Ohio. BKB initiates in onto Kuroki. Now they find S4. He gets hexed up. Will now pop the BKB. They focus the egg. And they will find the kill there. Now Ketchikimba goes on to Puppy. Uses the Viper Strike. Does he actually find this kill? He does. He gets a double as the Lena goes down also. Looks like the Shadow Fiend falls off to the side as we watch Ketchik and Arteezy duel it out. Looks like Arteezy might get the better of him here. Another nice four staff keeps him safe. Now they reinitiate. Slow him down with the Lightning. Berserker's call, and it's a four for nil. Not even a trade as Malaysia yep. just run over Team Secret. They've just got such a big advantage right now. That was, again, all these things didn't even matter in the end as Malaysia just used sheer item advantage and just this really scary team fight of theirs to great effect. And an abysmal buyback status here for Secret. They had to burn a couple in the last fight. Shadow Fiend is already bought back. This will be a bottom lane at the very least. Maybe even more for Team Malaysia. No glyph for another minute or so. And no, oh, they'll back out. They'll play this one safe. So a long time left on this PA respawn. If they farm what, or find what little farm they can. So Malaysia have to say about that one. Rocket Flare looking to do some scouting here, but Malaysia waiting and ready. Oh, the smoke gets popped by Ohio. Catches Berserker's call on two. 
Zai grabs KYXY inside of the cogs. Requiem goes off. Puppy will be the first to go down. It looks like Malaysia could still possibly take this fight. The Supernova goes off as well. Yules on the S4. Beautiful stun from Mushi on two. Finger to bring down S4. They'll lose the Phantom Assassin as well, but Rubik is well. Why did I say Rubik? The Phoenix <laughs> as well as the Axe get taken out. A two for four trade in the end. Not oh, the worst Zai. for Secret, but now Mushi gets isolated by Zai. The cogs actually push him away. Almost lives with the Force Staff. Will finish him off. Mm -hmm. I wanted that gem. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to find it. Of you, well, now he's just got two ways to lock the PA down in the fight. Rocket Flare scouts out Roche, but look at this. Ohio intercepts their train as it heads to the Roche pit. Looks like the rest of the team will come up. Power Cogs kind of break things up a little bit here. Arteezy blinks forward very aggressively, gets a bash on KYXY. Now the BY, uh, BKBs are used. Phantom Assassin just gets blown up. S4 channels a Requiem now on the run. Is BKB about to expire? Zai puts some Cogs down to try and break up the fight. Ohio almost goes down, but just barely lives. Oh, and he blinks out as well. S4 couldn't find him. Now he's trapped in the corner. He's going to go down. KYXY just leading his team to kill after kill. Beyond godlike, nothing can stop him at this point. And Puppy could go down here as well. Oh. TP to Cardi. Catch it. He's going to find that. And oh, boy. Secret. Probably close to tapping out at this point. The golden experience graph getting worse and worse. Roche 3 should go the way of Malaysia this go yep. around. I don't know what you talk about. A lot of teams just time and time again underestimate this Malaysian cohort. They just they deliver results on land, especially. This oh, is yeah. where these players have shined in the past. A higher KYX when Mushi, especially on past RNG sports teams, have just dominated when people didn't really expect the team to be dominant. And now KYXY just heads straight to the top lane. He is the one to pick up the Shiva's guard here. Not the Phoenix still hanging on to that uh, plate mail. There is a glyph for Secret, so that'll help him out a little bit. They'll use it straight away. Both supports coming up very soon here. Lena will respawn Puppy up in just a couple of seconds. Looks like they will lose a Tier 3 tower, though, before the fight even breaks out. Mid-Tier 3, the last one standing for the Dire. As KYXY focuses down the ranged barracks, going for the sure damage here. Pops the Edict, and... Secret in a lot of trouble. The scary part here as well is even though they're coming up, their buybacks still not in the best of situations. Yep. I, and you don't, you can't even be falling back on buybacks at this point. So for Secret, it's you, you buy all you can. Your PA, you three tower in mid under assault. Remember, there's no glyph here. So KYXY can kind of slow siege this, utilize the edict. He's in the front lines, has the Aegis of the Immortal with the 27 Bloodstone charges, can come back to life twice. Now Zai hook shots in, Ketchik Imma gets pushed into the base, but Ohio's right there to follow up. He's got the Berserker's call. Ketchik Imba eats the cheese. He goes right back up to where he was. Lena the first to fall. Now RTZ in a lot of trouble. He'll go down. Ohio off to the side. Will fall to S4. A one for two to get things started, but the tier three's gone down. Malaysia will just focus the structures. If they can clear out this lane of barracks, it will be mega creeps, and that will squander most hope that Secret has at this point. KYXY. Still looking pretty healthy here. Has the Aegis of the Immortal. There's your Supernova on the backside. S4 without a BKB gets hexed up. He will get stunned. And this could be the end of him. Puppy gets stunned up as well. Shadow Fiend falls. So does the Earthshaker. And that's the GG call. It's Team Malaysia that takes game one in this best of three. 44 to 14. Absolutely dominant. 31 Bloodstone charges on KYXY at the end of this game. This is the true power and potential of a core less track all across the board though malaysia just knew when to team fight knew when to push secured a good late game by getting a couple of midas's on the viper as well as the phoenix on top of that they had that one kind of first roshan fight which looked maybe a little bit shaky but they came back and managed to just smoothly put together a game one victory